Narky. And this is Throne and Liberty. You played as Monarchy on server Varen last time. To start the game, please hit X. I want to show you the process of customization. So I'm going to select the character. Please select the character. Selecting Monarchy on server uh, Varen. To start and, the game, hit X. And if you could see, I could either delete a character or create a new character. Um, if you already have one. Once you're beginning of the game, you're going to pretty much, I'd say, we're starting fresh. Moving to the server selection screen. You selected Baron. When you have made a selection, hit X. So, if you could see here, there's varieties of servers. You selected play. When you have made a selection, hit X. And if you could see, the green dot means it's good to go. When there's three dots, it's busy. So it's like, you know, it's alright, but it's getting full. And if you can see red icon, it's completely full and you cannot have access till it's uh, completely, um, I think it's, I don't know, to be honest, till they say something like, I'm guessing like from the old games that when it's full, you cannot have access till, uh, when it goes busy or good again. These are when you have made a selection, hit X. early access and also I guess you're able to go to that server regardless. So if you can see each time that I move my selections you, 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 you selected Talandra you have a, have made a, selection. Hit X. a UI pretty much kind of speaking so if you don't know how to pronounce certain things or you selected soul fire when you have made a selection hit X you selected crimson oh you selected before I forget selected Baron when you have made a selection hit X you could also change what um, type of server that you are going to. If it's Eastern America, Western Europe, Japan, and South America. So the timeline would change depending where, what servers you're going to go into. But as you create um, a character and choosing what server um, and you get to the uh, finishing the prologues and you start to do like a little bit of the tutorial I'm guessing because it's first chapter and second chapter so you're getting to unlock certain things and at this point but once you unlock certain things, they're going to give you a ticket. It's a ticket per day that you could transfer a different servers. Um, with that, if you have a buddy that is in East America, West, Europe, Japan, South America, you could go to those type of servers. I think that's how you're able to go by and pick what um your friends are on on the server you selected Azure. when you have made a selection hit X. so for an example i'm gonna when pick soul fire cushion is playing to skip hit circle long press containing sylveth goddess of destruction this magical star of destruction was shattered into pieces all across the world. And those who were born with this fragment were called 
the Starborn. In 1192, during an age of conflict, the Archean commander Khazar sought to use the power of the Star Fragments as a tool of war. The wizard Jan Junith sent Calanthea, a witch, to the remote island where Starborn were hiding. It looks pretty cool. The graphics, the scenery. Cushion is playing. To skip, hit circle, long press. It kind of reminds me of Lord of the Rings in certain aspect of the game. And also, like Harry Potter mixed with the Lord of the Rings, it's very interesting how they did it. Damn. Look at her. Huge ass entrance. Oh, she could control. Come on, like, go home. Necromancer. She's hot though. is playing to skip hit circle long press choose a character you would like to create circle creates a masculine character and triangle creates a feminine character square creates a random character okay so once you're at this point um choose a gender whichever if it's a female or a male but here's the key. It's better to take your time to create your character. It's like almost any other MMO. There will be a times that you have character customization. Like Bliss Unleashed, Terra, and PSO2, also NGS, and so on and so forth. So, the only advantage and disadvantage of, like, like saying NGS and, like, Terra, and Terra, you have default preset models, but you could still, you know, it feels that you're customizing your character. Also, you could change it how you want it. But let's go for a female character. Create a character. To start the game, please hit X long press. So let's go by appearance settings. What I wanted to compare with um, NGS and like Terra, so on and so forth, that has this in-depth customization. They have it very simple and neat. Before I go furthermore, because look how, where you want, um, you know, start off. If you want some lights, this kind of reminds me of code vein they have that type of um, effect and you could change their expressions and that is really neat and this is default settings are you 
sure you want to end create? No. So I'm not gonna mess with that because I might mess up something and I will probably regret it. Um, so this is how you could start off by shading face, skin, cheekbone, and like I said, there's preset models that you could use and if you're not that creative and if you want something you know that ha it's like an eye candy something that looks good and you're okay with it there are people like myself and others that want to go more in depth and detailed so that's where um, these other options comes in but you know to each their own there is no bias there is no right or wrong but like I said in the beginning take your time on it because you may want to just rush into things and get into the game but just hold on take your time relax and just do the procedure of creating your persona or a character that kind of resemble like you or you know someone that you liked or admire whatever you want to do just give it a chance because at the end of in the mid game or end of the game you might have regrets and you want to uh, customize your character and that aspect of things <clears throat> excuse me it's going to cost you to uh, recreate your character with whatever level that you are in so this is the eyebrows and eyebrows details and this is the nose aspect um, the mouth detail how you want more precisely but I'll let you guys experience it with me so there's the ears and there's you know um, eyelashes eyeliner eyeshadow cheek makeup lipstick war paint and uh, I believe tattoo yeah and let's see if I click here okay yeah so here will be your hair your hair color if you want one tone you have you have the option to have multi tone of hair and this is more of like your height your body build to bad there's like for the women aspect of things if you want more of adjusting the chest area or um oops or your torso maybe buttocks that would be kind of hard to do but there will be more other um, content that other youtubers that knows how to do better expl explaining and how to manipulate in a way how you want the body looks I'm just as of now just explaining how you could do certain things and how it looks so outfit she kind of reminds me of uh, someone in the TV series or movie so this is like something people can you know let's give it something simple as that for now and let's go back 
to shapes okay so you're picking out a shape of your face so this is how she looks like right now let's change it up a bit and there's different race not like monster race but you know human race and you can make yourself younger older I like this one better and this is the face type I believe because I'm guessing the first one is shading uh, depending oops like the skin tone I believe but there's more further detailed on it this is like more simple as like if you don't want more you don't want that much detail, but I think the shading and face go in together. Um, ooh, let's see if I could pull off to make like um, Laura Croft in such a way, because I could see the um, shape of the face and the type of um, shape of her head. That looks fine. Um, hmm. Let's see if I can make it work. Oops. There you go. So this is a like a. Uh, You're pretty much designing her head. If you want a little bit more wide, ra uh, long, rounded, narrow. So I guess I like it how it was. Let's keep it, you know, in between because it looks good. Okay, skin complexion. So this is how glossy you want it. If you want it like that. She looks like she's working on sweat. And, you know, not as glossy. But I believe maybe Because also glossy could be like kind of like youthful, youthful in a way. Um, I think 14 would be fine. Ah, uh, shit. Let's see. So if you want more um, options and a little bit more detailed, just tap X and you have the color wheel. And if you could see, you could change uh, exaggeration. So. Mm. 
maybe like that, and... Just to give you guys the full experience. should do it I'm just doing it in my train of thought how Laura Croft will look like and if you can see you could give her wrinkles or as youthful as you could get but let's do it by let's see Fourteen, no, twenty, no. I'd just give her a baby face. Um, beauty mark. I don't remember if she has um a beauty mark or freckles or you know mole. I'm just gonna go what looks good. Because I know Lara Croft doesn't have a mole there. I don't think so. Um, freckles. I guess I could go with this, but, hmm, without it, and, oh yeah, uh, this is for, like, if you have, um, let's, oops, let's pick them all, okay, let's go, the one on her nose, for you could see what I'm talking about. So, here, this lighter is to make it lighter, non existent, or pronounced. That's pretty much what this lighter is. And just take it off. And the same goes for um, scars. So, you want a scar here because if you can see where this scar was on I believe on the right side so you could see it it's like actual scar that it's not you could see it but you also it's hard to um, identify it sometimes but here's the other part of the scar. On the side, you could actually see it. And because of the shadows. See if you can see, it's on her left eye. And if I go here, you could actually see her scar in the face. Here, I believe you could see it and this angle and the one on her left cheek you could actually see it this one it's a little bit of um hmm. probably depending on what kind of hair but you could also see it near her left eyebrow or her nose is going across her eye left eye there's one next to her right eye it's gonna be right about here but if I do it this angle you can see that dentation on the right under her eye 
and at this point you can see it going from the left under her chin on the right so it's a clip left lip so I would not use a square um preset you don't need to use the preset if you don't want to but it gives you an option or an idea how these eyes look they look pretty cool and this speaks to me I don't know the shape of her eye or it's like more like seductive in a way uh, let's see iris okay so you have that same option what you saw in the preset that you could give her let's click on the iris you could color both eyes or one eye so for you know shits and giggles you're gonna see on the left side of her eye default I don't really know what color of her eyes are because the new um Laura Croft I believe her eyes is brown like a very light brown no not like that like this in a way but like I said if you click here you have your color wheel so but let's say you like this one as kind of like a green or olive green but if you want to I'll give it that impact you go to the inner and brighten it if you want to so just to give you guys a glimpse but other than that I think It's fine and this is a type of what kind of eyes if you want to kind of like make it like a two-tone or if you have hazel eyes if you want a character to have hazel eyes this is one way to do it to make it hazel if you have a honey or amber uh, green hazel brown hazel you could do it something like this but I'll leave it like that for now and you could change the size so it's 26 if you reduce it that's how it looks like kind of creepy but cool in a way and full out but I like the 26 it's the brightness so 31 
you could go full out like demon just pure p pupil or you know decrease it so let's go to pupil pupil size let me go the opposite way so six go down it's like very distinguished you're like a freaking um yeah so I'll leave it as is and with cat eye or demon eye whatever a hybrid eyes I don't mess with it that much because I'm already happy with it but I don't want to make the video too long so preset eyebrows let's see I think I like this uh, preset. I let's see. I guess to make it easier for you on your decision making. That looks hot, actually. But I'll keep it as. Mm, I like this. I don't know why. Oh, uh, let's see. 22. Let's decrease. Unga Boonga style. Or, you know, you probably not don't wear or you shave your eyebrow. That's something. Or darken. I like it like that, actually. And you could change the color. We'll change the color in a second. So if you want more in-depth detail, um, let's say thickness. Right now, 16. Increase. If you want it like that, or thin out. She doesn't look that bad like this either. But I'll leave it at 16. Because it's in between. It's, you know, fair. Um, Let's go to preset. This, I believe, what knows? Okay. We're going to see the um, front angle. So let's go here. Let's do it one at a time. Okay, side angle. I think I like the preset better, but you know how when you make your character customization, you do it how you want it, and it gives you like the bridge and the bone height, tip, things like that. It's very awesome on this. Let's go by mouth. I want to give it kind of like a Angelina, Angelina Jolie uh, lips. This is close or almost there, or you know, somewhat. Let's see. Let's 
This actually ain't bad. I think this would uh, Angelina Jolie would have. Maybe this. as a default for right now. I might change it later. Wow, well, you could actually tweak the numbers and if you have picture and reference, I'm just doing by a memory or whatever character or yourself, like I said. Uh, let's go by ears, oh, damn it. Uh, let's, let's skip the ears for now. Um, let's go with hair. Let's, let's go back with ears. So, ex machina, <laughs> if you want to do something like that. Elf, big ears. And you could change the size, angle, how you want it. I think the ears is fine. Okay, so preset. This, I believe, is um, all in. Yeah, a little bit of makeup here and there, and tattoo and face paint so this is just giving you a reference on um, there's many styles that you could do but if you pick this you know it's like you know, what it says there preset it's just giving you ideas um That actually looks kind of cool, but I don't think she ever painted her face. I don't remember. Um, excuse me, hiccups. Eyelashes. So the only way that I could see the eyelashes way better is from this angle. So this one, two three and don't forget you could see the under the lower eyelash it's slightly changing little by little and the thickness of the length of the eyelash and it's like giving you a style as well so I'll put it in the front view in just a second. So front view, this is how it looks like. So going back to normal. This doesn't look that bad. I like this one too. Uh, let's choose this. Say basic. I like the basic one as well. It's not bad. And this is eyeliner. 
Um, okay, so you can see it. This is how it looks like right now, or no eyeliner, eyeliner, because it's a little bit darker towards the upper eyelash on the corner of her eye, next to her ears, right there. And you have the wings, and I don't know what this is called. I know this is wings. This one, I don't know, cat eye maybe? Or this one's like a cat eye, this is Egyptian. Egyptian. I don't know. I'm just spitballing, making things up. Um. Yeah. I guess this is kind of like a tribal look. Sorry for the squeaky. Uh, that looks kind of cool, but weird. That doesn't look that bad, actually. And if you want, like, goth, pan uh, punk looking, uh, this is another one that kind of looks like more Egyptian style. But I guess I would pick. Um, I'll pick this. And like I said, it depends how dark or light you want it. Depending on the color that you choose. So let's go to eyeshadow. I don't have no eyeshadow whatsoever before that. Let's make it this color and this color. Okay. Zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine. I guess I like this one because it represents the two with two different type of blends. I'm guessing that that's how it called. I don't know. This can be. I think this is what it's trying to do, what I see, it's kind of pronouncing her eyebrow, eyebrows a little bit. Uh, these two, I believe it's focusing, that you're focusing on her eyes, and this one is focusing on her eyelash. I might be wrong. But let's go for this one because it's more pronouncing her eye, in my opinion. I don't know makeup whatsoever, but in games, I see what catches my eye, especially if it's going for female characters, how I want them to look. But like I said, the color. You could change the wheel how you want it. Excuse me for I'm adjusting my seat. Um, let's see what color. You could put on full on white, gray. Um, I guess this is bronze or naked color. I don't know. Red. Mm. Huh. 
Let's see. I actually... Wait, what is this? I actually like this, in a way. Because you're pretty much focusing on her eye a little bit more. Uh, what about if I do this? Falling black is not bad actually too. It, the, the white and the black kind of makes her eye bigger. I don't know. But... I guess like this full on black, you're focusing more on her eye. If I'm not mistaken. Because black, you cannot go wrong. It just pronounce her eyes more. That's me. I might not know, or I'm saying it wrong. This is the glitter effect. If you want a little bit of glitter. Because I know there's a lot of girls out there that does like glitter. Um, and also, let's give it a 12, because now it's like, you're trying to get lean in closer, you're like, oh shit, I'll leave it a 10, because it's more, it's more smoothing, um, Now let's go by hair. This is first, second, third, fourth, and yeah. She doesn't look bad with short hair. This hair somehow it does not suit her in a way, but in this angle it kind of does. Just this angle just looks kind of rough. Here it doesn't look that bad. Here too. Just here looks kind of rough. Like ah, oh, it doesn't look good. But if you put it this angle here it doesn't look bad so to each their own on hair um oh yeah this almost looks like Angelina Jolie <laughs> uh shit um if you guys seen um salt with Angelina Jolie let's let's give it a uh, cuz I did say kind of like Laura Croft this sort of looks like Angelina Jolie so let's see how further I could go with this I know if, let's see Is this the same right No. Okay. So she has black hair. Boom. So like I said, this is 
the first set, the main hair. You could give it in a second tone if you'd like to, if you wish to. But um, before I mess with that, let's start with what we do have. And you will kind of see Oh, okay, hold on. See, it's just pure black that looks almost exactly. This doesn't look that bad, actually. It looks fine. Okay, this like a, I think it's like a blue tint. Which it looks okay. So range. I can go from zero. So one hair is taking over on the uh, other die part of the hair. So if I increase, you're going to see certain change. And if you can't recognize it, let me make a different perspective. Okay. So, from here, it goes from your first uh, set of hair color. Now, if you want, like, have a dirty blonde look, that'll be it. Or let the first set kind of um, mince, it goes up to the roots of the hair. But I'll. Oh, damn it. There you go. And that part that you could kind of see, it kind of glitches. Because once you get to 31, let's see if I could go make it kind of glitch no so it kind of glitches here and there just on that aspect so just take your time on it like I said so let's go well before anything else this will show you how it will look like this to uh, decrease Mm, exaggerate the color even more so by brighten it more or have just the full set of the hair color take control so let's brighten it so you can see more of the range so see everything from the starting and let's go higher say the other color takes uh, control but also you could see that it's like blending with the black hair but like I said I could just tweak it in a way maybe something like this and desaturate it a little bit So maybe, because you could still see it. It's not like dark black, but it's kind of looks like a natural hair color where I'll leave it at 10. But putting it on this and probably increase it slightly. Right about here's fine. Um, the height that you can see, you could make it slightly bigger and slightly shorter. So, 
Let's put her in the short. Um, this is where you could manipulate it how you wish to. The only thing that I would probably do is the torso, as you can see. I don't know. Hold on. Yeah, torso probably means um, bigger chest. Yeah, so you have to play with it and mess with it. But I know Angelina, see, it kind of glitches out right there. So you just need to push a little bit back and it will fix itself. So this is a smaller frame, which is fine. And there you have it. Once that is done, uh, damn it. Yeah, you're pretty much kind of done. I don't know how to take off that screen. But this is how the character looks like. Can I exit? Hmm. Anyways. That's how you create your character. Once you press start, uh, you get to the tutorial of the game and it's gonna introduce you how you begin it and it will ask you your name. I will not show you that. I want you guys to experience that. And Have fun. That's all I could say. Please like and subscribe. And give me a like. Leave a comment down below. And enjoy the game. I'll, and this is where you enter your name. At this part. I will not enter my name. Because I'm not going to make this character. So just FYI. Do a little bit more here and there. So, see you guys next time. Peace.